How's it going, everybody? Jeff Jago here. I'm on my way home from work, and I decided I would do a little video. Let's talk about the booming NFT space happening in cryptocurrency at the moment. If you've been paying attention to the news, you'd, you'd know that NFTs have hit the mainstream. The floodgates are open. We've got Kings of Leon. They are, a, uh, I guess, a popular band. They're on the radio. I don't like them. People do. I don't know why I had to say that. Just put that out there. But anyway, they are launching a album as an NFT. And uh, it's the first band, I guess, that's doing so. But besides that, you got you got Lindsay Lohan selling selfies on Rarible. You got, you know, rappers over here just tokenizing NFT little pictures, trying to sell them for thousands of dollars, and it's actually working. I saw a little uh, video by Crypto Bitlord earlier this morning, and I completely agree with the guy. These celebrities are the most shallow human beings on earth, and they're just milking their fans for money. I mean, when it comes down to it, they've had Bitcoin for, you know, how many years now? 12 years. Ethereum has been out for six years. You know, and you don't hear any of these celebrities, you know, telling their fans, hey, look into this Bitcoin, you know, sound money, save your wealth, you know. Instead, they hear about NFTs where they could just, you know, rip off their fans by selling digital gifts for thousands of dollars. And they're like, wow, I need to do that. So now you have all of these celebrities, actors, musicians, artists, selling NFTs at ridiculous prices simply because they want to just milk their fans dry of money. I mean, good for them. If I had fans, I'd probably be milking them too. But I don't. So I'm just here making videos on Hive. But anyway, what I'm saying is things are happening in the NFT space. It's going to be big and it's just starting, you know. Kings of Leon is the first band that's making a album as an NFT, but that's the first of many. I mean, I imagine that every album in the future will be tokenized as an NFT. The music industry really needs tokenization just to empower artists, so I respect that. And then you got, you know... People like Lindsay Lohan selling selfies. You got Grimes stepping in. Elon Musk's lady. Lady, alien, whatever she is. And she's uh, making millions of dollars on some artwork on Nifty Gateway. Unbelievable. Here on the high blockchain, we've been using NFTs for a while. Uh, Splinterlands was one of the first, you know, NFT collector games where you could you could actually use the NFTs in battles and stuff. They were ahead of the time and still one of the greatest. Uh, I recently saw that you can now basically transfer your cards to the Wax blockchain. Wax is kind of leading the NFT market at the moment. So it's got really low fees and basically it, it exists for NFTs. So I've been using Wax, playing some games, using all the Hive apps that, you know, have NFTs. I've been playing this new one, Neon District, by Blockade Games. Coin Artist got me into that one. Um, but that's an ETH-based game where you uh, you earn some NFTs along a uh, RPG game. As for future of NFTs... Um, I've been looking at this thing. It's called Shroom Finance. It's in the uh, DeFi sector. And Shroom Finance wants to be a NFT DEX. A decentralized exchange swap kind of thing for in-game assets and NFTs. 
which could be uh, pretty serious and if successful can be a very high cap project. Right now it's only I believe 90 million market cap but that will be changing over the years. Got, we're in a high traffic area at the moment. But. As you see, Game Swap, NFTs, Shroom, Hive, ETH, all very promising. And um, I would pay attention. Pay attention, learn about them, put some time into acquiring NFTs. You don't even need to invest in NFTs because there's plenty of games where you can mine them by just clicking buttons. It doesn't even use computing power. It's not that kind of mining. You just click a button and hopefully you get some NFTs. You can sell them. You might be able to get some rare ones. You never know. But I uh, recommend you go out there and start filling your pockets because those mainstream populists are coming and they want your crypto as you can see they want your crypto they're they're going to be selling you a bunch of shit trying to make thousands of thousands of dollars and don't give it to them make your own nfts and sell them and try, try not to use ethereum at the moment because the fees are high as fuck but you can do it on wax you can do it on hive It's a great time to be alive.